is for your own good. Yes. A good father wants to see his daughter get married. Because every parent wants to enjoy the dividend of parenthood when their children are adults. So when your father said that you always stay at home, I don't blame him. Please, my daughter, I want you to go out there. Make friends. Maybe from there, favor will locate you. Yes, you get married easily. Beacon or Adesem. Make friends. Learn how to go out. At least people will see you. You see people, you make friends, you, you enjoy life. Your father does not hate you. Why would he? Beacon them. Oh, Adam, please stop crying. My darling, please. Adugum, you need to be seen and to be shown favor. Hmm? Please. It is okay, my dear. You know I love you and can do anything to make you happy. Why not divorce your husband and marry me? <laughs> My love, don't say that. Marriage is the pride of every woman and deserves to be respected. What's the more reason you have to leave your husband and marry me? I am a prince in my own world. There's nothing I do for my husband that I don't do for you. But you've not made me a husband. That is one very important thing you've not done for me. <laughs> Omali, don't forget your position and your promise. You and I know the only reason I accepted this relationship is because you promised to give me a son to keep my marriage alive. But I'll be doing my best and you know it. Your best can only be enough when you give me a son to save my marriage. Rena, I love you so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to have you all to myself. Why not come into me? And make me feel like a It baffles me how Malinze keeps following Orena around, even when she's married. And not even the king or the prince is doing anything to punish him. Hey! My dear, what do you want the king to do? Has anyone tried to punish him over all the atrocities that he has been committing in this our community? So, why now? Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Did he force himself on her? Answer. For me, I feel the relationship between Urena and Omalize is a mutual agreement. And Omalize, Bo Odari, Wu Ejenga. You all know that. I don't understand. Are you two trying to justify their relationship? Because I don't understand. Eh? Not even the potency of a husband will justify a wife having an affair with another man when her husband is still alive. 
Now you understand what I mean when I say the royal home is not doing enough to cope her promiscuous excesses. You understand, right? Girls, let me bust your bubbles. Do you not know that Omar Linze is the son of Ajofia? He has nailed himself untouchable due to the warrior's charms that are in his custody. Can you imagine? Hey! My dear. No. Honestly, Edoga, you are coming with time. What troubles you, Your Highness? Anyone who has a relation does not need to jump up to collect something at the high point. I commend your native intelligence, and that's why I summoned you to provide solution in a situation as precarious as my son's. Obviously, this situation is getting out of hand, and I do not know what to do. Your Highness, uh, you have been my friend for a very long time, even before you ascended the throne of the king of Vititinaza. <gasps> Tell me, you will be named Lobak or Bane Melinobi. What is the problem? My son, Anusolese, wants to get another wife. Tofiapa! That is against our tradition and our custom forbids polygamy. In way, and you know it now. Huh? Not in a situation like this, Edo. Not when there is a case of infidelity from his wife. A wife who is supposed to be dedicated housewife to her husband. Not when my posterity is at jeopardy as a result of no heir. And this is a woman who is supposed to give me uh, a descendants. Lack of an heir can be an act of the gods, our ancestors. Urena has consistently been sleeping with Amalese, therefore denying my son his matrimonial rights over time. In that case, we'll have to remand her to our customary jury, so that she'll be disciplined as the custom demands. The issues bordering on Urena's infidelity is coming from Omanese, the foster son of Adjofia. I don't know why I've been clueless on how to handle the case against Omanese. In that case, we'll have to invite Abalike, the mouthpiece of our gods, so that we can look into the situation because it's something that we have to treat with precaution. Especially when it concerns Omalinze, the son of the gods, Adrofia. Why you invited me to the royal home in such a manner? I knew there was a problem. My in law. Please. You can't just wake up and make such a decision. I understand how you feel. Please take it easy. Let's follow due process. Be good. Are you trying to tell me that you've not heard about Urena's weird sexual behavior? I've been waiting over three years now for your daughter to change. She keeps getting worse day by day. This is indeed an insult to my family. And I can't bread. Please, what do you intend doing? I want to take a second wife. Mbame, even the king will not support you because he is the custodian of tradition. Even our land forbids polygamy. No woman will want to accept you as a second wife. I am a prince. 
Every woman wants to marry royalty. Not even a virgin who wants to accept the position of a second wife. Except you want to marry a fair one, the divorcee. I will do it from you. Wow, so. Igwe. The situation is complicated. And it's not a decision I have to make in a hurry. Igwe, what are you saying? Igwe, you're not just the prince's father. You are the king. And you know our tradition forbid polygamy. And your daughter's alleged promiscuity is against the moral rectitude which this royal home was built upon. Infidelity is against the tradition of this pride land. It is NASA. Igwe, what do you mean in essence? What I mean in essence is that your daughter should be called to order. She must not bring shame into this royal home. She's a princess. She must behave like one. Go home. Now, um, Kemdilin, please, you see, you're my wife's best friend. You introduced her to me before I got married to her, okay? I need you to tell me some things about their family. Does Apuna Apuna run in their lineage? Aha, my prince. You did it just a proper in your marriage. And you got all the information needed that confirmed that Urena is your wife. Why all these questions? See, yes, fine, good and fine. Una, Una gave me two beautiful daughters. Bro, there are some things I need to know about their family. Is there something I need to know? My prince. Obiasom by your in-law is a righteous man who would not kill a fly that perched on their food. Their family are natural givers who will surrender their last and borrow extra pad to add comfort and hospitality when strangers knock on their door. They raise their children within the range of humility and rehearse services to any acquaintance. My prince, Urena, your wife, inherited the virtues of her mother. She is kind-hearted that only a prince could provoke her to anger. That is whom your wife is, my prince. Why, why, why do you keep telling me good things about them and no bad things at all? Why? <sighs> Is there no bad something about them? My friends, I hope you're not having problems with your lovely wife lately. Edoga, I do not know what is holding the priestess. Abaleke, the mouthpiece of Amadeke, I welcome you to my humble abode. Omalinze is the offspring of Ajofia, the evil deity of a Titinansa that protects the rights of every offscoring indigene of a Titinansa. He 
He's a child of the gods. Amaleke. A child who just barely begin to live is the one causing these several pandemonians in our kingdom. Allow him to contend with his chi. Omalinze is an instrument of war. The gods have kept him for his sole reason to be used when the external enemies want to invade our community. Etitinansa has used him to win many battles in the past. Why do you now want to fight and ditch him for your personal reasons? Do you not know that when you kill a fighter in a vendetta, you will need him when war arises? You should be more concerned about Urena and not Amalinze. My wife, she spitted on my face through her attitude and her character. She shed her matrimonial pride in Canada. What do you want to do? I want to get if we knew any clue, we wouldn't have someone to here. I know your fears. Divorce the woman, and you will put her in an abominable situation of life. Keep her, and her immoral actions will bring you sudden death. Marry another wife, and you will be going against the customs laid down by our ancestors on the same throne which your father the king sits on. Ah, well, okay. you know this too well. Huh? And I wonder, what do we do in a situation like this? <laughs> the ancestors have set a panel of jury and they have not found you guilty. Whatever decision you take, the gods will accept it. Aye, aye. No, wait, 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 my friends. Um, what are you going to do now that um, Amaleke has spoken in your favor? What else will I do? If not to go ahead and marry a woman who will take care of me and bring back respect to the kingdom. No, 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 don't be in a hurry. I am not only your kinsman. I'm also here to let you know that marrying another woman will not only be a bad idea than a solution. The absence of an heir in my household is making my family suffer drastic setback. What setback are you talking about? I am a prince, but I am suffering scorn in my kingdom. People now make jest of me. They snub my company publicly, especially in a big occasion where I'm being called as, as a special guest of honor. I understand how you feel. No, you do not understand. Men are now probing the laps of Urena, promising her to begat me a baby boy. The crack are now showing. Yes, 
because she's already given a listening ear to Omalese and lots more. She now honors appointment indiscriminately in total content of me, her husband. My family is now torn apart just because my 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 wife is now a bedmate to every man. All in the name to save the family. Has it gotten to that point? Oh, come on. Stop that. What are you talking about? Don't pretend as if you don't know. Her, 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 her name is all over the town. Her topic is stock of the town. Her infidelity just degenerates into an incest of getting me an heir. I'm lost of words. I, I, am, I am not lost of words. I am not. Because I know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. do I am to? going to marry another wife. Don't fear for her. No. You cannot do that. I will. I've advised you over and over again. No, you can't. You have to think about this again, my son. There is no need for that. I will marry another wife. No, you can't. I will get myself another wife. No, but it's my duty to advise you on the best decision to make. My prince! My prince! <laughs> Solese, my son, I'm not happy with the way you're looking. You keep machating everything as a result of continued thinking. Mother, what do you expect? When my family has been torn apart, and none of my family relatives is doing anything about it. Nobody is doing anything to help the situation. To save me from the problems of Urena. But you had a meeting recently with your father. And Ichi Edoga. And I know that Abaleke was also at the meeting. What was the outcome? More than all, standing with what Abaleke said. Father and Ichi sounded very confused. On how to handle the situation. What? There's nothing to be confused about it. Look, just go to the neighboring kingdom and get a wife for yourself. But uh, you know the consequences. Damn the consequences. Look, you need a new home for yourself. What? You need to be happy again. Yes. You need to secure your dying respect in this kingdom. You can't continue to be sharing your wife with Omalinze. That stupid and useless unrepentant hoodlum. You can't. Mom, are you saying I should go back to the places and start building another home? Exactly. That is the solution. Look, until you are optimistic, then you can solve your problem once and for all. You need to make a vociferous opposition against some of these stupid traditions that affect you negatively. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to solve some of these problems permanently. Mom is not as easy as you say. You know what? Come with me. Come, my son. You see, marrying another woman is not the problem. The problem is Urena. She's wicked and heartless. She can gang up and poison the young girl even before the marriage rites. I mean, that would be a multiple trouble for me. I understand your situation. From my grace. You see, I have this uh, friend of mine from the community. Permit me to refer to him as my friend. The age difference notwithstanding, because he is apparently old enough to be my father. He has a daughter, Ijawale. Very beautiful. 
and you refuse to talk to him, he will be willing to give you his daughter's hand in marriage. That should not be your problem. That won't be possible. I mean, going to seek for a woman's hand in marriage without some proper involvement with a kinsman from both families. Now you pointed what you may refer to as a problem. But permit me to say that a problem cannot arise without taking permission from the solution. What are you trying to say? There is always a way around the problem. There is always a solution to any existing problem. So it is not left for you to make the decision. Decide. Then we will eventually get to the man, convince him, and trust me when I say that if you are ready, the man will get convinced. And marrying the daughter is not going to be a problem at all. Father, you need to support me. Abaleke said that the gods approved of any decision I want to take. Sir, I am your father. At least the gods that you are seeing today. I cannot support you to marry another woman. Our custom forbids it. It will not happen in my own way. Father, you don't understand. Who will not say fidelity is getting on my nerves? <sighs> Our custom for this polygamy. The idea is to ensure that the limited number of women in our kingdom would go around the population of men available. That can be tampered with. When you've got into your elastic limits of enduring marriage crisis, and it's a scent infidelity. There is hardly any excuses that justify this divorce. Not even the hackneyed, chronic, overstressed, flimsy excuses of barriers. Not even the issue of male, child, or an heir is enough to be able to appease the gods of this land to approve divorce. Is that serious? I want to marry from our neighboring kingdom. So, there is only a quarrelsome person with reason the way and manner you are reasoning. You cannot abandon a funeral at home and go straight across the fence to attend the funeral there. Leaving the pride land, the titans are to marry an outsider would label you a man who is a confessed rogue. A unmarriageable uh, 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 idiot with an incurable bad attitude. I cannot allow this in my kingdom, not let alone my family. <laughs> My husband, please, you need to calm down. Whatever that gave Anusolese the effort to flaunt my orders will show him that I am still his father. Our son is going through hell in his marriage. And if taking a second wife is what will help him solve his problem, then all we need to do is to support him. Not at the expense of going against the law of the kingdom that he would rule after me. Would you rather he dies due to the pressure he's getting from his wife Urena? Remember, a dead man cannot rule a kingdom. He deliberately disobeyed my orders by going to Amatete in search of another wife. 
I will never support him. husband is taking another wife and she will be coming with him to the palace to perform the customary Malube rite. So what do you want me to do? Suspend whatever you are doing. I need you to come to the house and want me to tell my husband to stay away from you. That will result to a fight between you and I. Renna. What do you intend to achieve? We need to provoke a siege of embarrassment and blackmail upon him the moment he gets home. I want him to appear irresponsible so the marriage will not work. Hmm. Are you sure this will work? I'm very sure about this. Trust me on this. I better take my leave now. Like a mad dog. Move and I walk and get out. Move! Talk to your husband! I said talk to him! He has been going around deceiving my husband, making you out from one woman to another! The woman is sleeping with any woman that comes their way! Tell him to stay away from my husband! The most part is that my husband has regrets eating my food! If I see your husband, go close to my husband ever again! You regret what I will do to you! Tell your husband to stay away from my husband! Um, see, you need to calm down. Let's discuss this later. You can see I have guests. I don't care! I don't want to see your husband in my room again! He wants to break my home! What a useless man you have as a husband! enough to take care of his family. Oh, really? Does she not know that the prince is smarter than that? Maybe she would have been told that we did not go to family to unprepared. I know you want to keep may have made his decision. But I will never support him. Never! Your Majesty, you have always admonished 
that no one can fight whoever the gods support. The gods did not even find him guilty with the decisions he made. So it would do you no good creating enmity between you and your own son. I am not a man. My boy simply took your stubbornness. And he also took your wisdom in his decision making. Oh, do you, don't you notice the, the inherent wisdom in his actions? I was still that girl. The children have gathered here today. To say thank you for your love, for your protection, and for your guidance. Whoever has things dead for us, that person shall die. Mm -hmm. Because of Allah shall continue to guide and protect us. Mm -hmm. The only way to win a case against the gods is to provide all the basic demands for appeasement so that all the blame will be for them when they fail to meet their promises. You all know my predicaments and it's not transferable, which must be borne by me alone. I wish to find another partner who will help me to solve the problem. You're welcome to our family, to my family. A wife is a bait for the gods and a greater tomorrow. almost uneasy. Because if the king had queried Omalinzi and punished him accordingly, eh, the, the prince would have gone ahead to marry against our custom. You talk as if you do not know that Omalinzi is untouchable. Omalinzi is an outcast, an offspring of Ajofia, the god of war. So there's nothing they can do to him. Are you not saying that we should all live in daily fears? Simply because there's nobody that can do anything to him. <laughs> My dear, we can only depend on his chi to deal with him. If not, he will continue being a terror in this kingdom. Fighting him is equivalent to fighting the gods. <laughs> oh, wonder you know, shall never end. You know how dangerous Omaliza has been in this kingdom. Oh, dear. Our plans did not work. They are still in this house. Listen, we have to make this house unbearable for them. You cannot fold your arms and watch the prince bring another woman into your own home. Listen, if you ever do that, then you have lost your creep in the royal household. I think we have to plan, we have to strategize and make sure that marriage does not work. Right. Wait, wait a minute. I think I have an idea. I have a better plan. <laughs> I will relate it to you later. Oh, please. Your Majesty, I am not happy at all. This is an embarrassment to my person and to my family as well. Worst of all, he brought a teenager for the Malube rides. I am surprised as well. I do not know what to say. You see, any accustomed traditionalist knows his only wisdom 
that could nominate such a contrasting two some to fulfill the right. My law, this kind of arrangement is a total coverage for an interior motive. But I'm sure in you that in time I will interpret this cultural interplay as it unfolds. So thin. See, I concluded aside that the chaperon is likely to be the new wife. But with the introduction by the prince, I was proven wrong and uncertain. Greetings, my husband. Greetings, your enemy. Calm down, my lord. Andrew Soleza is our son. Why have you chosen to insult this royal family? Why? Is this how you are going to rule the people of a Titanansa with this fickle mindedness? How dare you bring such an infant into marriage? I've made my choice. What stupid choice? I'm asking you, at your age, graciously, father already, you want to stretch your, your, your patience to wait for a little girl to be able to get to a marriageable age. A little girl, your daughter marriages twice her age. What a shame! I could imagine how he brainwashed her mother to accompany her to this Malube traditional visit. Father, when I came to you, yearning for help, what did you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You told me that Omalenza is the son of the evil deity and untouchable. So I had to leave. No, no, no. I, I had to leave with all my mind to paint all my life. Finally, I was able to hazard a solution. So, Father, you have to come down and watch everything unfold. Father Solaise, I want that woman and her daughter out of this kingdom before sunset. The decision I took is a personal decision and not a family policy. Father, you are the king of this kingdom and not the king of my family. The grand eloquent audacity. Huh? Look, don't mind whatever the king is saying. He's only being apprehensive of the decision you've made. You are my son, and I am solidly behind whatever decision you take. Mother, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. What are you still doing here? You should be in your abode making arrangements on how that woman and her daughter should live, live this kingdom. You lie, and Igwe Anibese. You lie! My son is the heir apparent to this throne. And he has taken away. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Nobody! Flunks my orders. When a deity exercises too much authority, it is only normal to remind it of the wood it was carved from. This is a family matter, Iwe and Iweze, and must be separated from the affairs of the throne. Meet me in private. This world is 
not a bed of roses. Oh, this world is not a bed of roses. Give back your man, cause oh, I can see the back of man, cause many things are hidden in this life. But you claim to know it all. You will never come to my aid when I need you the most. But if it's a day to have sex with, you will not hesitate to make yourself available before time. So what matters is that I'm here now. Tell me what you want me to do for you. I need you to organize your boys to so go and wait for those criminals before they take my husband away from me. Let them beat them mercilessly. Wait for them where? I heard they'll be going around the village to see the kind of resource we have in our kingdom. Let them wait for them on the path that leads to Chuba. That plan will not work. Yes, it will work. Firstly, they are not going to do the working alone. Secondly, if they are battered, that will not give the kind of impression you want to create in their minds. Okay, so what do you suggest? I want you to call your husband Kingsman. Tell them that your husband is dodging away from his responsibilities. That he's not friendly for you and your children. And he rejects your food even when you bring it with your heart and toy. I think Om Malinze is right. <laughs> At least that way in call to the visitors that your husband cannot take care of his family. And when the meeting wants to hold, request that that meeting holds in this house. Yes. Wow. So that the visitors in the hearing will know that your husband is a lousy man. My lady, I love you too. <laughs> Come here. <clears throat> Couldn't you be more diplomatic in your utterances? Mm. Hey, get out. Okay, Your Majesty. Let me put you through Iwe and Ibweze. I allowed you to liberate me because of the love I have for your late brother. I was already pregnant with Onosoleze before you knew the woman in me. The throne rightfully belongs to my son, Onosoleze, not you. Why are all this coming from? Why do we have to visit a history in a time like this? Be careful the way you treat my son's issue. Be careful. He is my only child. And the only obvious result of my marriage with your late brother. Don't push me into revealing the obvious. Don't bother my son again concerning the decision he took about taking a second wife. The throne rightfully belongs to him, not you. Be careful. 
Igwe and Ibuese, son of Mwakese. Be careful. My wife, I still can't explain why our in-law choose Nkiru instead of a well lady that, he, that he's supposed to get married to. <laughs> My husband, you worry yourself too much. Eh? Hmm. Stop worrying yourself. My wife, I'm supposed to be worried. Okay. I'm supposed to be worried. I hope these people have not deceived us. Eh? They should know our tradition, that the young maiden cannot marry before the elder sister. Hmm. My husband, you know that uh, Odnosoreze is a custodian of traditions and cannot bring down his reputation by making such unacceptable move. Yes. Hmm. My wife, I don't know why everything that has to do with your daughter has come. I don't know why. No, stop that. Stop that. Why are you saying it like that? Eh? The prince paid Awele's bride's price. And after the Malube proper, he's coming to take his wife home. Eh? So, I am sure of that. No two ways about it. I hope eh? so. How about yours? I go on mine now. Watch also. Oh, we're going mine. So, kind of, and Anya. I hope so. Um, well, go ahead and tell us why you call us here. The king is waiting because I have to think back what's said. My elders, I hate you. I called him for him because the way my husband had been treating me has become unbearable for me. I thought he would change. And he's getting worse by the day. What did I say? Has your husband gone to do not like What treatment is this? He has left his responsibilities as a husband. But rather focus his eyes on being an outside, both married and unmarried. He even stopped eating my food, no matter how delicious it is. I'm not so lazy. You've heard your wife. What do you have to say? My other side beats you all. Thank you. As you all may know, I am not poor, and I will never ever be poor. But in my store, I have enough food stores there. And she has the access to go in there and get any kind of food so that I can food for my daughter to eat. That's a lie. Will my children continue to eat white yam every day? I have vegetables and every kind of condiment that can cook any kind of food. She's my wife. In my kitchen there, I have enough food stuff in there. And I've never deprived her of going in there to get whatever she wants because she has access to everything she wants there. I've never deprived her. And I asked her, I pay her feeding allowance every month. Because I don't like Anyways, uh, my prince, we are not here to apportion names. Okay. All we are asking is take back your responsibilities at the husband of the house. So try and see how you can refocus your love on your wife and brother. And then show her. And if we ever notice any atom 
of somebody that you love to a distance mainly. Don't keep your vision from this village and from our kinsmen who will look at Pay attention to your wife, my son. And everything will be fine. Mm. Rena is my wife. She's still my wife. And I always play my role as a good husband to that kid. Yes. You see, I can't really explain the entire rapport. I mean, the greater this and this one since we came up. It is possible that the family is not in peace. From one meeting to another, I fear for my sister I will be considering her condition and the kind of person she is. Hmm. On the second thought, she just wants to create a bad impression about the prince, so we can all we can never come back. Can't you see that she's a medicine woman? I think you're right because the prince appears very calm and not wanting any problems at all. Well, I rather suggest we sit quiet and watch the conversation. Okay. Mother, it is very obvious that father doesn't like me and I don't know why. If I don't tell you this, you might hear it from another source. What is it? Tell me. Igwe and Igwese is not your biological father. What? I was pregnant with you before my husband, Igwe Omekanaya, died. Because of the love I had for this family, I didn't want to go back to my parents. I allowed an Ibuese leverage me. After I gave birth to you, I couldn't have another child. And an Ibuese, on the other hand, couldn't marry a second wife because at the time, our custom was seriously against polygamy. The king does not hate you. He is your foster father. And it is his sacrosanct to protect you as well as the throne. If he doesn't, then how do you explain the way he treats me? To leverage me in marriage is what gave him access to the throne. He is scared of abdicating the throne for you to rightfully take over from your father. Though this is our little secret, since he could not take a second wife to hand over this throne to his descendants, he is scared that you might have an heir, a foundational root to take over from him. This is sheer jealousy and envy born out of insecurity. Every man has that fear. This is, I mean, this whole thing is relatively confusing to me. I want you to keep this as a secret. Let's watch things unfold that it will make more sense to you. My son, 
I just want you to understand that the throne that Anipreza is sitting on is overdue for you. On the son of Igwe Omekanaya. But I want you to concentrate more on securing a peaceful home because he who cannot rule his home cannot rule the kingdom. Your yeah, uncle, we are here to know how your movement is here. We want you to tell us how your stay in Etitinansa was. Well, you remember me. My name is Inkiru. I'm just a little girl. Actually, I'm not the prince's wife. I went to Etitinansa to perform the Malube rite tradition on behalf of my sister, Aweli. She is the one getting married to the prince and not me. Now I'm back to share my observation to my family. Just between you and me, the prince is a good man for my sister. They have a very beautiful house. The people of Utsinans are welcomed as well. And Papa, do you know that Aweli is going there as a second wife? We saw the first wife. Her name is Urena. Let me help her. The first wife is quarrelsome, which is why the prince wants to marry so much to comfort him. Many tricks was played for us to see the prince as a bad man, where's a good man. Okay. I just hope she's not the kind of a woman that will kill her daughter for us. First day we went there, there was this skirmish of conspiracy against the prince, which is aimed to discredit the prince for us not to accept him. But the conclusion is there are gossips and innuendos against the prince. But like I said, he is a good man. I think an extended meeting of the Banana family for us to decide if we are going to give our way to the prince or not. Come to think of it properly. Time is not in our favor. We just have to listen up. What is your view about this? Things are just over. My brother, mm. I suggest we hold this meeting by tomorrow. And by then, other uh, elders will be available. Eh? Okay. I agree, I agree. Uh, my daughter, you both have done well. Hmm? You cannot go inside. We have another issue to discuss. Eh? What sort of embarrassment is this on Soleze? So after how many years of blissful marriage you decided to humiliate me this way? You see, in this life, every human is entitled to his own opinion. Yes. I have never meddled in your lifestyle in this house. So I will advise you Never to meddle with mine. It would have been better you marry one of the maidens in the palace and go out of this kingdom to bring one dumb girl as my co-wife. Hmm. On the solid say you have insulted me, and this is the height of it. Ijawele, beautiful Ijawele. You see, I love her, and I've chosen to marry her as my wife. And there is nothing 
I mean, there's nothing anyone can do about it. I have married her, and she has the full and equal rights in this house, just as she do. Okay? And meanwhile, I have a meeting with the king. It's not in my manner to keep the king waiting, especially when the meeting is very urgent. Excuse me. I want to go and see my father, okay? My father, okay? Okay. Yes. I'll be back soon. I'll see you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> husband could see and get married to is this destitute. I can't understand how Onosoleze got himself involved in this madness. How could he do this to me? How? My friend, the truth is that his so-called in-laws must have used a powerful charm to enlist his commitment to this useless dumb. My husband, charms do not work on royal blood. So what happened? <laughs> she must have been rejected by so many suitors in her kingdom. Hmm? And your husband became a victim of circumstance. <laughs> My friend, I pity you. <laughs> Do you know the kind of sufferings the gods has packaged for you by sending this, this parasite as a co-wife? Do you know? You don't. No, 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 no. I have to do something. No. I have to do something. I have to complain to Omalise to rescue me out of this mess. I need to do something. No. I will just die. I will just die. I have to do something. I will never forgive my husband. See, she is such a cost dumb. A cost dumb. That is who she is. Don't worry yourself. We will handle her. Of 
It's not a bed of roses. Keep on going. You man go so. This is the height of embarrassment for this king. How can you get a different dumb for marriage to this father? Why have you chosen to bring shame to the royal family? Why? Your Majesty, I married a loquacious woman who almost broke my home. Now, I am better with a woman who is deaf and dumb. At least no one will be attracted to her. So I can save my mind to bed from being desecrated again. You are talking bad, Adish. I do not want to see that woman in this kingdom again. Do not provoke me further. Enough! I will make life and mission! Enough of this! Torment! Your Majesty! You granny person! Enough! I'm so lazy. Just because I allowed you. You think I'm a fool? I am not a fool! I just allowed you to sit on the throne of a Titanansa. Just because of the respect and the love I have for you. Vis-a-vis -vis your granddaughter in this position of your royal responsibility. Any day, I am tired of your excesses. I will have the queen to testify against you. And you will abdicate the throne. So I can take what rightfully belongs to me. For your information, I have taken a bride. That is final. Who could have revealed my secret with the queen to him? No, I cannot allow him to take over the throne from me. I need to act fast. Prince of Nosalese, I've been waiting for you. What is wrong with you? Why have you chosen to punish my daughter? Urena, and I'm to them. Such a harmless woman that has been living with you for a greater part of her life. Why have you chosen to pay her with such a dumb coin? Not just a dumb coin, even a different one as well. Ethiopia Sumba. When I was lamenting about your daughter's attitude and infidelity, what did you do as a father? Did you do anything to caution her? Don't tell me that, Prince. How can an acclaimed pastor like you do such a customarily despicable thing, bringing shame onto the palace and onto my own very family as well? Would be a somber and it showed a difference. Such a harmless woman that has been living with you for the greater part of her life. Have you forgotten the lines from which you have come from? It's you, Prince. It's you, the prince. I've made my choice. And that is final. Urena is now free 
to flex around the village with their claimed indestructible Omalese. The prince. Even if it means getting another wife. Not a destitute. A deaf and dumb. Why? Life is a choice. It's you. But no man would want to be alone destitute. The way you detest her is the way another man detests her. And her body will be for me. And for me alone, I'm praise. I am getting disappointed. So I am disappointed. I'm disappointed. I must tell you that truth. Royal Imperial! What an insult! Royal embarrassment! Um, so they say wouldn't have insulted me the manner he did if not because you smoothened his feather and therefore giving him a tip for insulting me. What tips are you talking about, Your Majesty? What tips? The man I fell in love with and got married to is supposed to be a strong man and not a fearful one. What exactly has Onosoleze said that has made you fear this much? Onosoleze threatened that he must make me abdicate the throne if I try to stand on his way by going against his decision by marrying that destitute. A lion's cub is not expected to have herbivorous characteristics. Besides, the throne belongs to him. However, I will advise you rather not stand on the prince's way. Let his decision stand. Onusoleze has been intending to make me less the king. And you have been supporting that. Am I seeing a reification of royal insurgency? Oh, is your plan to connive with your son to send me on an exile? Oh, far from it, my loving husband. Far from it. I just want you to draw the lines between your wing and that of your authority. Onusoleze is no longer the little boy you used to know. He is now a full-grown man. Therefore, I will advise you allow him to take decisions for himself. At least for the first time in his life. Let him take decisions. Remember, Uchakrokaro Omiambembe. This one is not a bad <laughs> Far. You shouldn't have been so confrontational before your father. Mommy started it. He started to lord it over me. Forget it that I'm a man old enough to, 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 to make my choice. It's okay, but whatever it is, whatever it is, it should need to be in control of your anger. Please. What is my house? I'm old enough to make my own choice. In my own house. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll tell you. It's alright. I'll give you a smile. I'm not so lazy. You know, you know what I'm saying. I'm not so lazy. You're the son of Obi You are just like your father. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell me, Marcus, how have you been coping with your new status of uh, polygamous family? Then I'm gonna You know, at least I have peace in my heart. 
since I married the jewel, I mean my jewel of inestimable value. <laughs> Indeed, you are playing your polygamous husband role well. Okay, mo. When he says no, no. So, how about your co polyandry husband, Double Easy? I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You don't joke with a thing like that. You don't strike next time. Please. I am so sorry. Like I said, it will not happen again. It's okay. I'm sorry, my prince. It's okay. Don't be angry. But has Uren has taught her? Are they still into the illicit love affair? She's getting worse by day. She now feels at ease to disclose her motives in the house because she feels I cannot find out. But not from the dumpsters. Oh, I understand. It is regrettable how she feels. That you cannot find out, at least not from your wife, who is a dumb woman. But don't worry, don't worry. Nemesis will catch up with them one day. Just one day. Just one day. How do I cope with this act of disgrace? Calculated slap on my face. Ripping embarrassment to me and my family. This disconcerting show of effrontery will be retaliated. I must ensure that Ono Soleze reaps a whirlwind for his actions. Ono Soleze. How can someone who eats from a royal plate revert to picking crumbs from the compendium of this commoner? I cannot share my husband with a dumb wife. My ancestors had better take my life than allow me to suffer this humiliation. You're not looking bad. Thank you. How are you? Hi there. I'm fine now. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. <gasps> Your liberal says he will be coming to cultivate in your garden tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to prepare breakfast for him. Oh, come on. You don't need to use encoded words before this dumb girl. <laughs> she can neither speak nor hear. <sighs> so tell me. What? Did you see him in person or he sent someone across to you? <laughs> he gave me a message in person. <laughs> On my way in the morning. So, really? <laughs> he told me to contact you against tomorrow. Such a good coincidence. The prince will be going out tomorrow. Are you serious? Good timing. Good timing! Good timing. <laughs> oh my goodness! Good timing! Hey! Oh dear. You know what? I have... Why are you in a hurry? I have to start going. Mm, I don't want my husband to get home before me. <laughs> I guess. Take good care of yourself. And you too. Take Anything? Care. Just give me a call. I will. Make sure you give me a call. Bye. Take care. Bye.
I am going to eliminate you very soon. <laughs> very, very soon. This is the lady you described to me. The shapeless wish everybody hates to see. Do you, do you know her? Oh, but she is the total opposite of what you told me about her. Just look at her eyes. Her complexion. Her waist. Imagine her irresistible stature and humble appearance. If I had met her before your husband, I would have gone ahead and have a court myself. She's so, she's so disheartening and pretty. Don't all look up. Men are unpredictable angels. It's true, partners. How can you describe a dog lady as beautiful, even when she cannot take your compliments? Which is why you are attracted to her. But you know what? You have lost. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is that she's a complete angel and opposite of all you told me about her. Hey. You know what? You will understand me. I can't sit here and watch you insult me in my husband's house. You better. I don't know why such a handsome, promising young man like Omalenze will decide to ruin his own life with bad and indecent behavior all over it is in answer and beyond. Don't say that I told you. History has it that his mother was raped at Omudeleke and her parents threw her out. She now went to Ajofia to give birth to him and Ajofia promised to save and keep him alive. He took after his rapist father, whom is believed to be a criminal. But nobody can destroy the sword of the gods, except the gods who judge him by themselves. He is an outcast, yes, but an offspring of the gods. My dear, I also heard the reason for his unrepentant crimes is because he reportedly dragged an indigent old man from the bed and took his wife home stage. That young man Imagine. has a lot of evil stories surrounding mm -hmm. him. Hey, the more reason he excommunicates himself from people all the time. Yet the priest's wife, Urena, still gives him access to her body, knowing that he is evil. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? Birds of a feather. Flows together. Hey! I pity him more, seriously. You There's no time I see him in this community that I don't get to. Pity is an understatement. Pretty damsel. Fine girl. 
my beautiful Uri, the epitome of ancient beauty. You know what? I'm still wondering how your husband was brainwashed to marry this ugly, dumb he of a woman. Even if he's free for keep. <laughs> Now you are talking like the man I fell in love with. <laughs> I knew this worthless dumb girl would not impress you for long. <laughs> when you were busy praising her the other day, I knew it was my flattery just to pull my legs. <laughs> <laughs> but now the gods have vindicated me. <laughs> you know, if this village was created by women, Men would be bereaved of sweet tongues. You can say that again. <laughs> now tell me, how has your husband been treating you? is getting worse. He doesn't answer my greetings nowadays. And it's so painful. I am so pained considering the fact that the reason he's doing all this is as a result of marrying this worthless dog girl. But I would teach her that if a young colleague lifts up a senior colleague in a scuffle, a load of utensils will crash upon her. I... I understand your anger. But you have to calm down, my lady. You have to. He who walks with caution does not hurt his toes on his thumb. You have to take things easy so that we do not make mistakes. Yes. And remember, beware of the dumb. For the God speaks for them and protect them. going to do my princess? I don't know. I can't believe my own Omalize is so reluctant in doing something about this. What about the royal family? How do they take the news? I don't even care how they take the news. I am more concerned about the damage it will cause in my marriage. See, we need to find a way out so you won't endanger the life of your children if the prince sends you out of the palace. See? Because that is another possible thing the prince is capable of doing. Okay. Uh, uh, in that case, I need you to organize a meeting with Omalidi as soon as possible. Please, my sister, if possible, let him come to the palace. Please. Because I, I need solution. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> you, you know what? Is I, okay? I have to go. I, I will see you, okay? Just take this, please, okay? Your Majesty, you sent for me. You look very pensive. Is everything okay? There is thunder in the sky, Edoga. I think Prince Onusoleze has something he knows. How do you mean? I think he has found out that I am not his real father. He threatened to make me abdicate this throne. 
and take over the throne which rightfully belongs to him. This is very serious. But who must have told him about With who else if not the queen? Or did you? Oh, you know I can't do a thing like that. Knowing the dangers that surround, no, I didn't and I wouldn't. I have tried everything possible to make sure that Onu Soleze does not have an heir. Now, Abaleke has given him the right that he now have a second wife. I heard that his wife is pregnant. I was thinking that my relationship with that mistress from Abagana would be fruitful. I was thinking that she will give me an heir. Now she is not where to be found. Not even in the deep blue sky. I don't know what is happening to this dream. You are still the king. Yes, you are. We will either find a way to persuade him to leave the throne or better still find a way to deny him the throne. And not even the queen can stop us from that. I've always trusted you, my friend. Do something. Yes. Yes. I will. It's a promise that has to be kept. I will. Urena, what is wrong with you? Don't you think about my future in terms of ambition? Don't you know at my age, I should have my own family no matter how tender? This is an opportunity for us to get married. And here you are asking me to get you pregnant with a son for that prince. I cannot marry you, Malinze. The worst husband is better than thousands of good men friends out there. You keep on complaining about your husband's wickedness towards you. But here I am with full vigor, offering myself to you on the platter, so we can start afresh. Oh, man, I cannot marry you. All I want is for you to eliminate this good-for-nothing girl. Help me to regain my control in my husband's house. That's all I want from you. I cannot do that. I cannot kill that man. You must do this work, Omalinze. Oh, Remember, I have records of your undetected atrocities in this community. Remember the young woman who died in that evil native yes. doctor's shrine. The children you kidnapped, the things you've stolen in this village, I can easily give you out for execution. And you and I know the gods will find you guilty. Hey, Ure. There is no need for this argument. The only problem that defies solution is death. We have to find a way to get rid of your co wife. We have to be careful. My wife is greeting you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know. I've seen her. Yes. Thank you. How come this is your unexpected visit? It is very unexpected because the palm tree is growing a fruit at this point. Yes. And it is the duty of we, the elderly, to admonish the young ones about certain issues that concerns our historical sequence. Iche, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is simple. But if you feel that my visit 
to your place is not accepted. Then, by the fire in your kitchen, cast it away. But I advise you to return me. But if you find it useful, cultivate it and reserve it for posterity. It's here my ears are aching to hear you out. Or do you want to eat before we start discussing? No. 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 The only appetite I have now is the appetite of admonishing our young ones. Telling them to understand the ills that is happening in our community. When the blind man dips his food on the floor instead of the plate on the table, the brothers around <laughs> begin to scratch their brows in shame. Yes, my prince. You must understand what I'm talking about. Pichier Dogger, permit me to say that your way of talking is a great advantage which the gods have used to bless you in a way. And it has spiced the advantage and the respect which you've wedded within and outside a titinanza. Now tell me, what are you talking about? Your mates have excommunicated you. Yes. And most of them have even withdrawn their support towards you. Even the women folks have formed a gossip league against you. How do you want to solve this problem? I've not noticed what you've just said. Why would someone want to excommunicate me? Because you married that dumb wife of a woman that an outcast is better than. Yes. Now look at the embarrassment. When are you going to be tired of this your sign language? If you are not ashamed, our kinsmen are. What is wrong with you? Ichie Doga, your observations are right. But before we proceed, Let us break the call or not. Um, okay. He who brings color brings life. Is again what I'm talking about. Look at this embarrassment. That she could just break into a discussion without the courtesy of an apology. Are you not tired of this? Richard dog, may we proceed, please? Let me tell you. If you don't know what to do, I'll tell you. Go and marry another wife and chase this woman away. I've told you this is very important, more than this. Chase this woman away. Chase your wife away first. How? My wife is not dumb. She is sane too, and she will not behave. I am done! Why do you stand there looking at me as if I'm a global master? You're for pretending you don't know what I'm talking about. I asked. Who told Prince Onu Solese that I am not his real father? I did. You did? He needed to know the truth. So I had to tell him the truth. Why are you scared about the same truth that will certainly be opened someday? Why have you decided to be rebels 
towards the throne of the proud land, the Titanasa. Rebellious, you said? Igwe and Igweze. Do you think I am daft? Look, all I've been trying to do is to protect my son's interest. I know you orchestrated a plan to deprive him of the throne. His bet right. Do not forget that most destinies are primarily determined by mothers before the gods approve of it. Oh, what are you talking about, woman? Urena's marriage with my son was supported by you. You supported it because you knew she was a woman of easy virtue. Oh, you thought she could cheat on my son and my son would die. But my son did not die. And you refused to support him again to remarry. Because you thought that the new wife would give him an heir. Why are you so full of evil thoughts? We had an agreement before the leveret concerning the throne. Igwe and Ibweze. My son Onosoleze is indestructible and he must take over the throne from you. We had an initial agreement and we must stick to it. You want to ignite an inferno that will make me go up in flame. Why do you want to ruin me? Because you ruined me first. By having a carnal knowledge of your mate, Iruka from Abagana. Oh, you think I don't know? I was the one who sent her out of the palace. Yes, and let me shock you again. I made sure I flushed her womb before she left. You promised you and I forever. I married you because I want to secure the throne for my late husband, your brother. But your evil thoughts had made you an enemy to all that agreement. He who breaks the edges, the serpent will bite. Have you not noticed this change in her body? She's pregnant. That means your suggestion that wait until the gods determine her position on the earth. <laughs> I doubt it will not be too late. And I know that her parents will not want to take her back because there will be no suitor to come for her again. Honest Elizabeth, go and break the custom in your own interest. Her presence here is authoritarian. And as long as she stays around here, that order will remain and repel people away from you. Benya! You too. I don't care. I do not care at all. Everyone has his or her own life to live. <laughs> what would it profit you to die for one woman and have 20 of them? Come for your burial. Huh? Almost what I said. Think about this. I can even volunteer to look for a beautiful woman for you. What? Arrange it. Like arrange it. You understand? Arrange the woman for you. What? Ijea, let us enjoy this matter. A vulture does not finish palm nuts in one day. I will talk to another person for deliberation and assistance. One needs companion to undertake a risky job. Did you just mention another person for an assistance? Yes, because you're the one who suggested I chase her way and take another wife. Mm. I think I need another advice on this. Yes, that is true, but you have to take it easy. Eh? It is too early to bring another person's advice into this. <gasps> they might think I influenced you to do so. Do you understand me, William? I oh, take it easy, my son. Don't be too in a hurry. <laughs> oh.
I don't know why Ombalise is dragging his feet in doing this for me. That girl needs to be eliminated before she gives birth to Greetings, Your Highness. Now tell me, Edoka, how did it go? <sighs> that woman must have given the prince a portion from her witchcraft. She's not ready to leave that dumb woman, even if she remains barren. We must use all cajoling means, except violence, else it will boomerang on us and we will eventually lose the throne. No, no, that's out of it. You can't lose the throne. No. How did you come about that? No. We must try everything possible to make sure that our Willie does not have her feet in this kingdom. And you are sure of a plot of land in this kingdom, a full barn of yams, ten baskets of turmeric. I don't mind if you go fetish. I will let you, my, your majesty. I will anchor this matter with possibilities of subsequent trial. I will go right now. Onye Jogubo, Angoludo, Ndine Kweroni Si Mekubi Obuloku, Ye Kwenuku, Mababi Obulegu. Sawaleke, the mouthpiece of the gods of Etitinansa. Stay away from the priest and his new wife, else you'll incur the wrath of the gods upon yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Leave that, leave that part, leave that part. Marrying a girl from another village is against our tradition. That cannot happen, especially not when I'm alive. It's an erroneous act which you stand to protect. Huh? No, I will not live to see that happen. If you do not redirect your steps, where you are going to in life will be closer than you expect. Do you wish me dead? Leave the priest and his family alone. The gods have not found him guilty yet. As long as I live, that marriage will not work. No way! No way! I 
As long as I live, no, that marriage will not work. No. No. Diva, no. Uh-uh. Ameme. Ameme. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Ameme. That marriage will not work. Huh? You are threatening me. All right, man, the boss will never forsake me. You asked her to give it to me, right? Did she give you? Where is it? She couldn't even give you something to pick your feet. Well, as a kind and gentle woman that I am, where is your toothpick? I'm going to destroy that man. It's a problem. Listen, fret not about that woman. Is she not the same person that gave me water the other day? She also served me juice while I was waiting for you. Defend her. I am happy she snubbed you. Yes! I am happy that she snubbed you. At least you've seen the kind of evil woman that she is. Well, the fly that catches on our food must be pouched. Else, we swallow it with the food. Yes. But Esther Kem must be taken to our best eating the food because of the fly. Come listen to me. When you raise the idea of eliminating her, I remember requesting the provide ground for this execution. How far have you come? You are an expert, so you give this solution. For me to attain a successful operation, your maximum assistance is needed. So you need the way. Oh, 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 oh. So now it has to do with Urena. I should be the way. Oh, but it's a have I been the one giving you ideas and all you do best friends you've been committed in this kingdom? Hey, have I? Hey! Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. You can even receive your voice. So now it has to do with me. I should be the way. I know your plan. I know your plan is to sleep with that woman. But over my dead body, you do that. I will never allow you to go close to her. Stupid he goes. Stupid he goes. Nonsense. Please, is there one in this house? That's the name of my friend. I have to start going now. I just have to go. Yeah. You don't know, spend time these days in my house. You're always in your home. I'm sure. This is Adema. You know, my wife's Tommy is put to them every day. Yes. And no one is by her side to run an errand for her. Hey, I understand what you're saying. I understand. That is exactly the reason I've always suggested that you should at least hire one of the maids in the royal home to do the errands for her. You see, I don't want all those distractions in the palace. That's why I left the palace in the first place, to live separately. My prince, do you not know that at a time like this, your wife Ija will need a maid? A maid who will be running small, small errands for her? Yes! Whatever a maid can do, I, Prince Omoselese, can do it better. Oh, there you are with no. your private life again. What can be able to I've always known you to be a very private person. You live a private life. What? How do you care? Listen, I'm not afraid of carrying out murder assignment, but it is paramount I get first hand information on some certain basic habits at night in your compound. That will help me with a successful operation. What information do you need? When does the household go to sleep? Where and in what position? You see, this information needs to be properly harnessed in this planning stage. Well, we sleep early enough. Our husband patrols the compound before going to sleep, and he never wakes up till morning before going to work. Wait, 
Do you all sleep in the same room? No. I don't share the same room with them. For three seasons, my husband has never invited me to come sleep with him. This would pose a very big problem. How do we gain entry into this house? We need to get some specifics for us to twist and fix. Actually, I'm at a loggerhead with my husband. But I will discuss with him and get back to you. We need to sort everything out and eliminate Awili in less than one week. Another thing. You need to consult the gods. Because I have a very strong feeling that the gods will not allow you harm her. Unless you make a passionate case of justified aggression against her. Probably you appease the oracle for them to silence her spirit. Then we can strike. And you think the gods will allow me to kill anyone, no matter how cogent my reasons are? Urena, you know what? That aside, I think what I need right now is to satisfy my burning fire. <laughs> I need to drunk it so me now and tell me come on, baby. <laughs> Mama Linzer is still sleeping with my wife, Irena. They're still making their evil plans against our lady. My friends, I wonder why you are yet to take reactions that will put an end to all this nonsense. I can only react when there is something to react on. That has always been you. What? So tell me, what are the new strategies? Rena will undertake to come to me. The agreement that she will start sleeping with me again. Why would she do that? Who told her that hustling for sleeping over with you is going to make her get a male child for you? Listen to me, my brother. Everybody needs to understand that having a child is the prerogative of the gods. I mean, this same Urena has been the one who has been desecrating your matrimonial bed with that unrepentant role, Gomalese. It cannot validate pregnancy. Getting pregnant is the prerogative of the gods. I uh, well, I don't know. It's an avenue need to compile vital information to enhance Plot. That is nonsensical. It is obvious that what Urena thinks at a time like this is that she can comfortably eliminate Ijawale. My question is who told her that Ijawale is just any kind of girl that she would eliminate just like that? Well, I don't know. Oh, oh, the beautiful ladies of Etitinasa. Greetings, Iche. Greetings, Iche. How are you? I'm sure you're about to go and fetch water from the stream. Yes, Iche. Oh, oh, mama, you look beautiful. Ah. Why well, do you know? Can I have a word with you? Very important one at that. How may I help you? Oh, you can't help me. No, no. I'm in a better position to help you. I mean, liberate your family. What are you talking about? 
what I'm talking about is that um, Iwe Anibese, the revered king of Etitinanza, is interested in you and wants to make you his wife. And then you will become the queen of Etitinanza. Sounds beautiful, eh? Iche Doga, are you sure you understand what you're talking yes, about? Yes, absolutely. Yes! You know, the king is a man with very, very few words. So all you need to do, tell me when and where it is convenient for you. In private and he will be there. Yes. To see. I can't imagine what you're saying is the truth. Oh, you better start imagining how beautiful you will look on those your queen attires. How you will walk alacandastically, majestically around the village of Etitinansa. And of course, people will start to envy you. <laughs> yes! Hmm? And even a dog at one point will say to you, Greetings, the queen of Etitinansa. It will be such a good feeling. Hmm? Mama. And don't forget that this is a secret between me and you until you meet the king. Okay? Hmm. Secret. Hmm? Don't forget the word secret. Huh? Okay. Um, okay, and let's go. What did he call you to tell you? Oh, <laughs> he said um, he, he wants me to teach his daughter how to dance. Yes. How to dance? Mm -hmm. Are you now the great dancer that he sought for your tutelage in terms of dancing steps? What happened to Cheta, our renowned dancer, who is also the head of the Wokiti, a titinanza? Tell me already what you know be. What did he tell you? Why? Why are you sounding like a, you, you suspect I'm lying? No, no. Uh, he, He's waiting over you. What's the meaning of that? He said I should teach his daughter how to dance. What's bad if he chooses me? This eh? is not a laughing matter. What do you know? Be? You know you're lying. You know, you're, you know it. You are you're lying. not serious. Let's go, Joe. Please, let's go. Are you serious now? It's not a laughing matter. I'm very serious. Uh -uh. <laughs> Sweetheart, my sweet husband, the man of my youth. I actually brought this for you. <sighs> my husband, I have a pressing matter I want to discuss with you. A plea for a little favor. This one, you brought food for me to eat today. I thought you discharged your obligation towards me. I thought you've left me with impunity to becoming everybody's woman. I'm sorry, my husband. I only reacted out of jealousy and aggression. Those who taught you how to apologize should also teach you the customary prerequisite to such absolution. Pardon my inadequacy, my husband. A food made by a child, test childishly. Please allow me to make my request. No. 
if you're here to initiate a reconciliation, then do it in the way of custom. Or go back to whoever that taught you or sent you and learn how to prepare the proper ritual. My husband, the issue I want to discuss with you is an urgent one. Please accept this fruit and allow me to tender my request. Read my lips. I am not going to eat your fruit until you test it. What? Yes. Are you trying to say I poisoned this fruit? <laughs> oh, no, so listen, are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? Are you trying to say I poisoned it? No, tell me you're going hey, to kill hey, me today. Hey, 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 stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned it? Stop this. No! Let the people hear me! Stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? No, no, no. This is not right. This is not right at all. How do you expect me to remain silent and not act in a situation like this? Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down? Someone insulted my husband and engaged him in a fight. And you tell me to calm down. I understand your grief, okay? It's very clear to me. But you have to calm down so we can reap the benefit to revenge, okay? You're not going to talk now. I will tell you when to talk. I can defend myself. Okay, please. I just, I just don't want to disobey you. But this is not right. Okay, I use it. Hmm. This is a serious case of accusation. I mean, how could Urema go to that extent by trying to kill her own husband in a way of poisoning his own food? How on earth will she do that? Your Majesty, this is an embarrassing situation. So what, what do we do now? Um, I think it's um, important for us to invite Abaleke, the mouthpiece of Etitinaza, to handle the situation since it involves the royal home. We must make sure we have an unbiased judgment in a situation like this. Yes. If that is the case, both families involved will produce those that had the problem to broker settlement before the king and the mouthpiece of Amadieke. I do not know my daughter Urena to be a killer. Well, we all know the procedures involved in handling situations like this, uh -huh. isn't it? Igwe. Uh, Please, I want you to procure the food for surveillance and safety until the appointed date. Sure thing. Um, the food will be well uh, procured until that day. God? Your Majesty. Please inform the food and beverage department that the elders are here. Okay, Your Majesty. Let's be calm, brothers. Let's be calm. The elders will sit in jury tomorrow to advance justice in this matter. Your mother and I will be a somber that only each year with a difference in this community cannot afford to be disgraced in public. Tell us, my daughter. Father, Onusolese has punished me a lot under his roof since I got married to him. 
and you people have piously intervened in our differences. And I took it in good faith. Considering how he... Um, um, Uyunga, please forget all these things you're saying. Huh? Your father and I do not have all the time to listen to all these details. Well, I'm go straight to the point. Huh? Be brief. Be go, oh boy. No. Father, my husband has cast me away even before he got married to his new wife. He abandoned me with my children to die of hunger just because they are not male. His new wife is expecting. Yet he still doesn't want me. The other day, I went to meet him to request he readmit me into his bed for me to enable me beg the gods for another child. And so let's accuse me of poisoning his food. He embarrassed me in front of his new wife. Um, uh, okay. Did you say he embarrassed you before his new wife? How did he do that? He asked me to leave with the food and leave it for another day. Can you taste the food before everyone? Yes, father. If you're asked to taste it, can you? Yes, father. Why would I poison my husband? Why would I poison his food? Um, okay, mommy. Adam, mommy, please, we are your family. Eh? Tell us the truth. Are you sure you can test that food tomorrow in Mother, the public? How can you even say such a thing? Why will I poison my husband's food? Why will I want to kill my husband? Stop crying, my daughter. Stop crying, my daughter. I assure you of our unmitigated support in this matter. Provided your mother and I, Ichiobia Samba, will not be humiliated before our son in law. You must make a positive afternoon in the Renaissance room. What did the people do? Not even the king could challenge his actions. Oh! If a dump woman could serve me better, then I'd rather marry 10 dump wives. That's right. Calm down, my prince. So that we can avoid the dangers of cross fire. Who we'll kill ourselves and leave the enemies? I never asked you any of you to help me in the issue concerning my marriage. Or am I crying out to you now? Enough! Enough of that! Honestly, Anyway, I am hopeful that tomorrow's visit will be on your favor. <laughs> My son, I am solidly behind you. Look, we are all in this together. So let us not only enjoy the dance, but also take advantage of the chance. You have every reason to follow your heart, as much as it does not lead you to a destructive regret. I am making this decision in regards to the perpetual prejudice that has enveloped me in my household in the time immemorial, my royal status notwithstanding. I understand you, my son. Please be careful. Okay?
Onasu Lueze. Onasu Lueze. Purenna. Purenna. Gods of it is an answer. Gods of our ancestors. We invite your presence in this hour. The widow does not go to market, so she depends on hearsays in regards to marketing events. If you know Dudu, she and actually Yai So gracious gods, who see all things including tomorrow, we ask that you come to our aid and resolve the matter between our children. The chest cannot be at loggerheads with the breast. Salt and red oil do not fight each other. Stretch forth your hands. Stretch forth your hands and separate these two in one person in such an amicable manner that the lead will once again match the container. Urenna, why did you attack your husband knowing that the gods of Etitinansa forbids you? Noble elders of the jury, my parents and the good people of Etitinansa it is never in my character to stand in fury against my husband. But my husband has denied me my regulations as his wife. The other day, I went to beg him to resume inviting me to sleep with him because he has not touched me for over three years now. I got him some food to smoothen the ground to enable me make my request. But my husband turned me down and asked me to take the food back. And when I raised an alarm of lamentation, he attacked me. Who witnessed the episode? His dumb wife was there. She could not hold him. That time, but not, but did not the what was your relationship with the dumb wife since her arrival? She has been a good woman to me. She always run errands for me. She smiles with me. She has been a good woman. Are you sure you're telling us the truth? Yes. You can confirm from her. But she is dumb. Then you should depend on my word. What if your words are undependable? Then let a girl strike me dead. Onosulweze, will you tell this jury why you decided to batter your wife, knowing that the gods forbid a dog from eating the bone hung around its neck? My elders, I respect your wisdom. You all know that I'm a lion's cum. And a snake does not be got a shut thing. Neither do a lion eat grass. 
You have not answered a question. Urena declined sleeping with me. And I was forced to marry a woman who is pregnant for me now. She brought some fruit and requested to resume sleeping on my bed again. Which I told her to go and do the requirements based on her custom. She screamed and abandoned the fruit for me. Are you still going to take her back as your wife? Urena is my wife. She's still my wife. And will always be my wife. Urena, are you still interested in this marriage? Yes, provided he accepts my daughters as his legitimate children as if they were sons. To fear what? Urena. Not even ten daughters. They would not. Members of the jury, this is the unseen crux of the quarrel. She demanded I take them as my daughter, do as my sons. Before he married a second wife, did you, Urena, stop sleeping with him? Or did you go? and he did not let you in. He never refused to allow me in. Neither did he invite me. And there's no way I can force myself on him. Onosulueze, did you invite her and she refused? Or did you just get fed up because of the two daughters and stopped inviting her? She never asked to come and I said no. Though she did not ask, and I refuse. Who will attest to your honesty that you have told us nothing but the whole truth? If I hadn't lied to you, let the guts strike me dead. We thank both of you. Now we will need to gather facts in preparation for judgment. I ask that you all disembark for recess and we will reassemble you when we are through. Why did you agree to talk to him in marriage? No, tell me, why did you I reject him? I answered your mind, Mama. I know nothing will make you severe in lordship with the royal family. If I had demanded for separation, would you have accepted Kolanot from another man on my behalf, if divorced? You have a point too. You have a point. Eh, but why did you refer to that uh, 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 dumb girl that she's a good wife? Eh? Considering from everything, she seems to be a good woman. How do you read her mind to know whether she's good or bad? <laughs> Since she cannot talk, her composure and countenance speaks for her. Composure. Oh, if you say so. My daughter, Papa. remain of good cheers. You will come out victorious. Sir. You are my daughter. Thank you, Father. I'm always your friend. We thank you all for your patience. Throughout the time we were deliberating on the matter to administer a just judgment. The evidence before us shows that the pot on fire is full with water at the boiling point, trying to blow off the lead. Since Prince Onusuleze and Urenna agreed to continue their marriage. The rest is a matter of mutual movement. Urenna's actions are motivated by the desire to return to her man. I commend her courage. 
Urenna, taste the fruit that you served your husband that day. This will prove that it was not poison. <laughs> My ancestors, this is the time I need you the most. Please come to my aid. If I ever poison this food before serving it to my husband, let me die. If not, reward me with the gift of a son and long life. I salute your wisdom. No man caught in a similar threat of extrication will not take a new wife. But take back your wife, Urena, after she survives the period of oath. Reinstall her rights to sleep over with you whenever appropriate. And what of the marital rights that comes with such a reunion? Have you overruled them? If she survives the oath, she will bring a white cock, choice dish, and palm wine to wash the face of her husband. For some weeks now, no one has set eyes on Omalizi. What do you expect? He knows that Urena and her husband have not settled their scores. So, his absence has sent abysmal ripples of panic in the community. <sighs> My dear, whenever he goes missing with those his cohorts, hyper alertness and security consciousness will be the thing in the minds of every indigenous in this community. <sighs> Men, men and their heartlessness. But it is very, very unfair for you to leave her now. It's unfair now. Whose side are you? Eh? Wait, oh. When did this relationship become a good topic of discussion? Don't even say that. Because Look, let me tell you. His presence in this community only adds salt to injury in the royal household. So, ha, please, oh. But. Whatever happens, we just need to pray that um, all Malaysia, which is outlandish miscreants, do not invade the community with massacre. That should be our prayer. My dear, I pray so. I pray so. Because that royal household has become a war zone. A place that the whole community is supposed to be emulating from. Look at what it has become now. I just pray so. He should not even come back again. Ah. Eh? Your Majesty. I thought you said you have everything planned. 
What is keeping? Oh yes, I'm I'm surprised, Your Majesty. Because she told me she will walk through this path to meet you. Uh, I don't know. Surprised she's not here yet. But to have a girl of her class to make the king within is disrespectful to it the is, royal. It is disrespectful, Your Majesty. But maybe we just try to have a little patience. She promised that um, she was going to walk through this path to meet you. And I don't know. Oh, there she comes. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Naya Doga. Always good to meet you. I am sorry I kept you waiting. I wanted to make sure I'm not being followed. <laughs> That's a good idea. I will think yes. Your Majesty, I think I need to give you a little time so that um, you guys will have a private time together. Hey, dog. Good clothes. I'm Obi. I'm Obi. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, report me. We are supposed to be the guard on duty today, with the primary assignment of following the king. You are right, Your Majesty. So, where is the king? Because he's not in the throne room, and he's neither in his room. Your Majesty, I don't know where the king went. He left with Ichie Edoga and ordered me not to follow him. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. behind us. Well, you can go back to your duty post. Okay, Your Majesty. Iguan Ibueze, you are always starting something. But Lolo Ikodia is always a step ahead of you. Always a step ahead of you. How far have you gone with the arrangement? We need to be fast. I'm ready now. We have to wait till the end of the restrictions imposed by the oath. Actually, the food was not poisoned. So I am sure to survive it. After which I'll be readmitted into my position, legally with my husband. So what are we going to do now? We have to wait for some weeks. If not, this mission shouldn't have been delayed at all. Okay, I, I'll be leaving now. I'll see you. Okay. All I am asking is for you to give me a male child. Not only will I make you the queen, I will make the child an heir to my throne. Your Majesty, what happens to Prince Onosaleze? is in the capacity of the king to decide who reign after him. I promise you, I will make you the queen and the son which you will bear for me will be my successor. Your Majesty, I am afraid. I am afraid of the queen. If she finds out I'm having an affair with the king, she'll kill me. Oh. 
Mwaje na wabi. You do not need to worry about all that. I will take care of them. Okay? Come. Come to my arms. I will take a care of everything. I will protect you. Hmm? Oh. My prince. Oh, sit down, man. I am now a father. Yes. I now have a son. My chief has consolidated my royalty. What is? Our only has given birth to a son. What is? What is that? What is that? Oh, get that. Hey! That is who you are eventually going to be the Igwe of the Tinasa. And you are son, the great and the crown prince of our kingdom. Hey! Prince Onusuleze has been vindicated. You can say that again. I have been vindicated. Hey! <laughs> so, each hour has eventually given birth to a son. Honestly, you came with a good news. I thank the gods for making my daughter stay in your house stronger. That's by the way, how is the case between you and Urena? I'm like I said, I should. We had me time to my bed. Huh? After the expiration of the oath. Uh -uh. Has she fulfilled the rights for such readmission? No, she has not. When I asked her about it, she pretended not to know anything about it. And I asked her to let her parents to confirm and compile the requirements. Hmm. It's a lie. She must provide them. She must provide them. And after that, eh, you will give her condition on how to carry on her duties in that house. And do you know what? She must no longer give in into infidelity as long as she remains under your roof with you. You're right, my in-law. You're very right. You must draw line between the two wives. So that each of them will know their right and limit in that house. My in-law, if my husband can manage me and the co-wives, uh -uh, you can do the same. I'm now. You can't call her. No problem, my in-law. But your guidance and closeness will make me cultivate the tip be. I uncover all your evil deeds in this kingdom. Mark my words. I will deal with you and make sure you're banished for life from this kingdom. Let me die if I don't strangle you if you threaten me again in that manner. You don't choose! You don't choose! You don't curse! See, let me tell you. If you ever speak out, if you dare open up your mouth and spit out my secret in this kingdom, I will kill you and give your cacas to my vultures at the abattoir at the market. You don't choose! Now get out of my compound! I said get out of my compound! I am sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. I've surrendered my body to you to share with my husband in defiance of the wrath of the gods. Please don't leave me. I don't have anyone to go to me. I'm sorry. Don't leave me, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, please, my love, don't leave me. I'm sorry. My love. Now that you're preparing for naming ceremony, 
What name will you give to your son? What name do you prefer? My in law, honestly, I do not have any name on my head right now. Hey. Okay. We have to think of a, a name. I don't want that day you appear unprepared. It's okay. I'm ready to accept your suggestion. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I have three names. Okay. Three beautiful names. Chinonso, Chemerie, and uh, Chukwebuka. How do you say the name? Chi, Chi, Chi. Okay, that's nice. That's uh, nice. A good suggestion, though. Good. But when you were trying to suggest for me, a name just occurred to me. Huh? Ah. Mm. Oh, yeah, share it now. Okay, how do you see this name? Chibogo. That means God has settled the quarrel. Chibogo. Mm -hmm. Hi! Very beautiful. Oh, Makano. Chibogo. Oh, Bokwariyao. God has settled the quarrel. Beautiful name. Chibogo. Yes. Considering what is happening in your family. God has settled the quarrel. Hi! Hi! Thank you so much. You were Eh, Oh, Mali, I am sorry. I am sorry. Um, see, I promise never to threaten you with your past secrets. I'm sorry. Rena, you have to sleep over your plot so you know exactly where your vengeance lies. We have to be very careful so that we don't kill the ram because of the sins of the he goats. Omali, I am getting confused. The reason I wanted to kill Ijawele was for the child not to come forth. But this oath has delayed everything. What do I do? I need you to advise me, Omali. Please. We have to wait until the period of the oath expires. The oath will expire in a few days. So I think this is the right time to strike. Because any mishap that befalls them now will be attributed to the ugly effect of the oath. Which means I am vindicated. We had an earlier agreement. Let us stick to that agreement. We have to wait. We have to wait. I have to go now. Let's go. Please, I want you to drive. You drive. Let me just. Omalinze, Omalinze, when I 
are you ever going to leave married women alone in this kingdom? When? You. So you've gotten the nerves to confront me and question my powers in this kingdom? Are you not afraid of me? Oh, Malinze, let me tell you something that you don't know. The day a great man was born in one kingdom, that same day another great man is born in another kingdom. Really? Yes! Really? Yes! Really? Are you talking to me? Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh, Malinze, you better take... Change your life! Change your life! Nemesis will catch up with you one day. Okay, for okay? Nemesis will catch up with you! Stop it! Still, let me spill your blood and feed your flesh to those vultures at that abattoir close to the main market. What are you learning for, from you? Who are you talking to me? Oh, my is a me! I am not afraid of you, my is Get away! You're talking to me? Yeah. Oh, sister, you're talking. Come, come! Shameless man! Come! Try this next time. Come on, get out! Challenge me one more time and I'll kill you. Now. Very soon, I will take you to the Queen's land. Mm -hmm. And when we get there, we will look for a garden like this quiet corner. Hmm? Where we will always be. And I will be singing a song. The first song I will sing when we get to the Queen's land is... Um, Onu neku na mada burochukwo Onu neku no na mada burochukwo Makano nye si na nyabuchi Nyame kenifo je bulochuku Onye si na nyabuchi no Nyame kenifo je bulochuku Makije no wa sinachi adi mao Ije no wa sinachi adi mao Mame, 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 mame Mame Oh my goodness <laughs> You are dancing to the tune already. Yes, right? Your Majesty. Take another one. Take another one. No, Your Majesty, I still have some in my mouth. You still have some? Yes. Oh, freedom everywhere. <laughs> so, so Your Majesty, you, you have this. You want to give me? Yes, from me to you. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. This is good with kiss. Mm -hmm. Or oh, pet. Oh. <laughs> because of this land, we bless our union. Say he say. He say. And some people will die in their abode. <laughs> I your majesty. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to be your wife. I see. And be the queen of this kingdom. And by the time I get pregnant, oh I'll goodness. give you a very strong son. I see. <laughs> that is why I came in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, I can see you're enjoying yourself with the king. Yes, so <laughs> very soon I'll become the queen of a Titinansa. And I'll have numerous maids following me about. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good dream. Eh? <laughs> Don't forget, I choose you for the king. That huh? means you will have to appreciate me. Oh, that. Yes. Say whatever you want and I'll tell my husband, the king, to give it to you. Mm -mm. Say that fast. I don't have time. Unfortunately, the king cannot give me what I want. Only you. Hmm? Only you can give me what I want. What do you mean? What is good for the geese is good for the gander. Hmm? I choose you for the king and I can also destroy the relationship. All I need to do is tell the queen that you are seeing the husband. But you cannot do that to me, Chedoga. Yes, I can. Huh? All you need to do is let me huh? test the woman in you. And uh, of course, I, I will keep my mouth sealed. But if you don't, I'm going to tell the queen. Just once cannot kill you. Huh? Or do you want me to tell the queen? 
It has not gotten to that. It has gotten to that. Because if you don't give me the opportunity to do that, I will tell the queen. But if you let me, I will make my mom going to come see it. Eh? So you have an option. Hmm? I'm waiting. Just say yes to this and then we can part ways now, okay? Prince, we congratulate you both for surviving the oath. Your seed will blow them onto the third generation. My advice for you. Do not discard an old rapper because of a new one. Go home and perform equal husband role to your two wives. Urenna, the gods are merciful with you. They want that you go and ask your husband for forgiveness. You will use a ram, a cock, palm wine, Pull a knot and two tubers of yam to cleanse your husband for laying false allegations on him. The gods have found him innocent and you shall arrange a survival ceremony. Onosuluese, take back your wife and re-establish fellowship with her according to the customs. By the power vested on me, as the spiritual advocate of Amadieke, the gods of Etitinanta, I have spoken. I still do not know why Urena has refused to perform the customary appeasement ritual as was directed by Abalego. What else? What else if not her usual stubbornness and recalcitrance? Because she feels she's always having your backing whenever issues about her is mentioned. Well, you may be right about my soft spot towards her. But this is not a matter of uh, father and the daughter-in-law. It is a matter of the king and his subject. Who must uphold the tradition to the level? Thank the gods that Father is able to see when I say that she treats the family matter with levity and reluctance. Well, whoever that has her interest should tell her that I will not hesitate to excommunicate her from this kingdom. If she does not go according to what she was penalized with, to market weeks, for the mere fact that she took the family to the jury is a slap on our faces. And I must dish my chastisement on her for such carelessness. She mustn't take our love and care for her for granted. Well, thank you so much. I really do appreciate this, at least. You were able to speak up to my own favor at a time like this. Thank you so much. You. I was actually going to drink somewhere. Why don't you just follow me there? You're too scared. Ah, come on. Are you not tired? Tired of what? How can I be tired of all these things I've seen around your body, yeah? Stop. <laughs> okay, so tell me, how is your friend preparing for the cleansing ceremony? She sends her gratitude for you, but she wants you to help her getting some of the items for the ceremony. The items? Oh, oh that. That is not a problem. Come back tomorrow morning. Okay, you know the ceremony has been delayed. If she had other means, 
she would have host it without any further planning. So, she said she will be expecting to hear from you soonest to enhance the ceremony on the next market day. Okay, you know what? Tell her to answer a call behind her house at dawn to take a delivery of those items from my emissaries. Thank you so much, my Omali, <laughs> the husband to the less privilege. Stop! Have to go. And this thing is killing me. My husband is waiting for you. He's waiting for you. This thing is killing me. Stop. <laughs> Damn. I called you to intimate you on a matter that is perturbing my nerves. And I know my killing and my shankers matter. We know now. Correct, correct. Reina, she lost her case against her husband, the prince. What? And custom subject her to a cleansing ceremony. Well, now the items when they need for the matter, and I ain't matter now for the ground. I make a call on her. The drop on, uh, the drop on. They said they need a huge ram and some tubers of yam, cola nuts, and palm wine. Now, why I call you now? How are you to support me? <coughs> Senior man, you don't get issue. Your face so for suicide. <laughs> Senior man, I don't believe your mother died. See, before daybreak, I could provide you with huge ram. With car, with your horn twist. You know my matter now. As long as you don't concern you, I'm ahead. You go day. You know now. Man, don't talk too much. I believe. See, Jama, Jama. Na daily thing now. You understand now. You know na daily thing. You de get me. Na daily thing. Now what you de do always. See. You know, say in my own coordination, failure on a Mr. Far. You de get him now. Ah uh, ah. Uh, see, <laughs> if Nayam, eh? If Nayam, you don't get problem because <laughs> the snake, not the two talk, not the talk even. But he sees venom. <laughs> you see the yam. The yam matter, eh? Ha ha, now wow. Forget that one, forget that I'm the yam, me good deliver. <laughs> Wait for me tonight now. Wait for me tonight at the deliver. I believe on Amora. Now I call on Abizo who on be Agua, the snake. I'm Bobo. Nah, Bobo. Right. No matter. The colour just go on leash and connect with me at midnight. No time. Not in props, not in props at all. Not in props. My man, my man, I will reward my hands on me. No props, man, no props. Nah. Remember not to allow anybody to take Chigo away from your house to anywhere. People must always cuddle him in the presence of an adult here. Is that clear? My enemy will not sleep until she extinguishes my son's life. But she will die 
before she carries out her evil plans. Yes. But don't offer suspicion yet until, until she is clearly out of her cocoon. Then you will have reasons to retaliate. But be careful the way you eat at the ceremony. Um, we yeah, are okay? Yes, sir. Come with the round. <coughs> Um, <coughs> um, my friend, do you know it is my big gram that I saw in that occasion? <laughs> uh, I left it in my friend's farm in Epulovia. <laughs> she must have paid heavily for this. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand my praise? No, let me make you understand. <laughs> my friend Azodu from Ecolovia has always taken care of all my livestock. From ram to goat to fowls, name them. And he came to collect it, to sell it for me. And I hope that that money will come soon. <laughs> EJ? EJ, where go? EJ? Papa, you have a visitor waiting for you at home. A man or a woman? Mr. Azodi is waiting for you at home, Papa. Oh, I told you. Azodo is there to bring my money. I'm sure that is why. Nah, come up here. Oh. <laughs> Some criminals are at it again. What happened? They broke into my animal farm last night and made away with that your big ram. Abomination. How can an in law steal an in law's property and present it again as a present to him? Mazi, the thing is, it, it was barely midnight when the goat started bleating. And then I heard the increase of noise from the intruder. So I immediately raised an alarm, which awakened people around the neighborhood. In fact, everybody searched to see if they could capture all these thieves. And the thing is that they searched the entire Ekulobia clan and 